Yo, what is good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I got a test hand video for you guys of the Lightsworn Rocket Orcus deck. Um, this deck has been performing very well. Uh, I played it just last week uh, at a locals. Got 7th out of uh, top 8. Uh, finished X02, so I did get 2 draws. Very sad uh, first round. I, you know... I got very unlucky and wasn't able to do 50 more damage, so um, oh, so game 2 went to her, but I did win game 1. It was against Dragon Link, Armed, Thunder levels stuff. Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, this deck is performing very well. I'm very happy with the performance. Um, and yeah, let me get into this. So let me just shuffle, shuffle, quick, quick. They usually say cut half. And let's go. So, Skeleton, Allure, Foolish, Nibiru, and Allure. Okay, so I think it's quite obvious. We're going to start with Allure. Into space, Nibiru. Banish the Skeleton. Then we need to keep drawing, but we don't have a dark. So, Pitch Nib. Add black. Special, banish. I feel like this is just like, like just general knowledge at this point. And I just also want to say this deck plays through hand traps very well, uh, because you're able to set up your grave so well with like chaotic ruler and everything. Uh, it's very easy to extend. Plus, you're usually able to go into Borlord Savage fairly early if you open the right hand. So. Uh, they'll have to nib at that point. If they don't, then you have a negate on board and you're good to go. Uh, obviously, summon white. Banish. Chaos space. Let me just cut my deck first. Put this on bottom. Draw. That's not very good. <laughs> okay. So. Uh, we are going to Foolish Burial. Sending Rocket Tracer. Because we still do want to get to our thing. Gonna go Striker Dragon Effect. Add Tracer. Go Boot. Effective Boot. Summon Tracer. Uh, here you can use Tracer if you want. I probably will just to get the other monster out of the deck. So I'm going to get Recharger out. Actually, no, I already have a 4. So I'm going to get uh, Rocket Synchron out. Though he doesn't come up very much, he's also just a dark as well for a lore, if anything. So he, he's never really that bad. Uh, so I'll cut in half. From here, we go into the big boy. Chaotic Ruler, so chain link 1, chain link 2. Add the black dragon. Shuffle up. Cut in half, and five, two, three, four, five. So that's really good. Uh, we were able to get the gear suit and skeleton. So that's very strong. So we're going to take the levy just to get extra advantage over our opponent. Sadly, we did get rid of the babble, but it's fine. Uh, we should be able to put up enough of a board, if anything. So, and we have Nibiru. Um, from here, we're just going to go for a quick Synchro Summon into Abyss. Then, uh, I don't really need black, so I can Allure and see if I can hit anything else. Wand and Crescendo, so that's very strong. So we're going to banish, obviously, the Collapse Serpent. From here, I'm going to go uh, Skeleton. Summon Gearsu. Gearsu effect. We'll send Nightmare. Da -da. Uh, from here, we will go. Uh, do we... Yeah, I'm going to go Skeleton. Not Skeleton, what am I talking about? Nightmare. <laughs> Send wand. 
Wand will summon Nightmare. Um, go into Galatea. Galatea will put back Wand, giving us Return, obviously, because we don't have the Babylon deck. So I can just do that, that, cool. So I'm going to go return, see what we get off that. Return and reborn, so that's a very good follow up. Next, I'm going to banish and banish for chaotic ruler. Um, do we have, yeah, so I'm gonna special summon Levineer, Banishing Striker, uh, Greffer, and Rocket Synchron. Uh, just in case we get to the Barricade Borg, uh, eventually, I want to be able to bring back the Boot Sector to get the Tracer, so it's obviously just a very good play overall, and it's something I might be able to do here. Um... So yeah, uh, we're going to loop one card of their hand, so they're at four. Uh, so boom, boom. Uh, sorry guys, I'm thinking of everything on the fly, so I'm playing as quickly as possible so you guys, so you guys don't get bored or anything. So from here, we can go into oh I can go into ding with these special another make mask arena and that'll keep chaotic ruler and grave that works for me so we're gonna make ding with the two eights uh, put back a skeleton under him reborn uh, target tracer. Just in case they have uh, DD Crow, you don't wanna don't wanna get rid of your nightmare. Then these two into IP, and then we set crescendo and pass. So sadly, because we don't have Babel Nibiru, will be less impactful, but it's still very good overall. Uh, this leaves us with crescendo, Masquerina Abyss, and Nib, uh, and overall. It's very solid. It's pretty standard uh, that you're gonna see either crescendo or Babel here, and just like a Mascarena or and Abyss or Borlot Savage. Uh, really, really everything in this deck is super hand dependent. There, like, you can't really say there's any combos because like it's all it's somewhat like RNG since uh, you know you have your charges, your chaotic ruler. Uh, those are just big things that uh, help you go through your turn. So yeah, uh, that's a solid board. Uh, fairly hard to break. Um, I did see a lot of people during the tournament main decking... Um, what's it called? Main, de main decking Dark Ruler. Uh, usually that's not a problem. Uh, if I have Crescendo or Babel, because, you know, just negate. Or I can just play with uh, my Graveyard, which is completely fine as well. So yeah, that's hand number one fairly solid board and I just want to say no this deck isn't the most super consistent thing ever obviously we're playing Orcus uh, there are bricks that we sadly will draw uh, not every hand will be fantastic you know I could draw like double wand triple nightmare although it's unlikely it is possible uh, there's also just like bricks like boot sector um, some I've done it like twice where I've drawn collapse serpent and wyver burster, so don't go into a tournament thinking, "Wow, this is super consistent." I'm never gonna brick. I'm gonna win every game, because also got a factor that they got hand traps, and sometimes you gotta play through them. So I'm gonna show you guys one more. Uh, gonna try to full combo. If it's a brick, then I'll show you another one. Obviously, starting not bad. See, it got worse, got a lot worse. Uh, okay, and then it got better. All right, 
Perfect. So, um, we don't want to mill the second tracer, so we're going to quick launch first. Dun, 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 dun. Into tracer. Uh, tracer. It's going to go into striker because we also don't want to mill the boot sector. Also, just makes things a lot more difficult for no reason. Um, from here, I'm going to go striker, add tracer, then uh, boot, summon tracer. Something else we don't want to mill is that uh, recharger, which happens to be at the top a lot. Obviously, it isn't here, but. For me, I usually mill it. Feels pretty bad. So we got that. Cut in half. Uh, then we will go charge, just in case we mill both Raidens off of the Chaotic Ruler. Okay, that's uh, interesting mills. Add Raiden. But at least we have a lot of lights engraved now. We'll make things easier with our chaotic ruler and everything. So we go into him. And just cut first. One, two, three, four. Chaos space. That's not it. Okay. Obviously, we milled Babel again. Unfortunate. Um, happens sometimes, though. Uh, from here. Hmm. Wow, that was really not good. Uh, I'm going to get an extender in Rocket. This might just be a mediocre board. We'll see, though. So we go Raiden. Raiden effect. Mel 2. It's always two spells, I swear. Every single time. Uh... As much as I'd like to make Savage here, uh, actually, I could still make Savage after. So I'm gonna banish white off this. These two into Barricade effect, Pitching Nightmare. And now we should be Gucci. Nightmare. Is going to send Girsu, Skeleton, it's going to summon Girsu, Girsu is going to send Wand, going to go these two, into Savage, Savage will attach the Striker, Wand will summon itself, uh, not summon itself. What am I talking about? We'll summon Nightmare. Gonna go these two. Into Galatea. Obviously we got unlucky again. So we're gonna put this. And set return. We want to see that nib if possible. Uh, yeah, basically it. It's a board is fairly mediocre without Babel, sadly, but we can't play more, so I'll draw two, that ain't it, that just ain't it, <laughs> so from here I can summon this, banishing Gearsu and Raiden, uh, always make sure you banish Gearsu, don't know if I mentioned this already, uh, I tend to forget stuff, uh, you want to have that as a wand target in the future, Always, always a good idea to do that. And, yeah, I don't really have too much. So, this is just going to be ding. Get skeleton. Uh, make IP. Then you'll attempt to go to, battle, uh, to end phase and summon Gizmek from hand. Because you all, you always want to be able to Gizmek on their turn if possible. 
That's a questionable banish. But it's fine. Should be good for the rest of the game. So, this isn't much, obviously, as you can see. But if you use the negates right, you should be able to survive. And then you have follow-ups for days. You also do get your boot sector at the end phase. So, it's fairly solid. Uh, as long as you use it properly, should be good. Uh, since you do have your Gizmec live again, you should be able to use it again to, you know, b uh, block if anything. Uh, this is a unicorn, one negate, and an extra blocker. Uh, if you go against a dino, you probably already lost. But against a majority of what the meta is right now, should be fine. Uh, if you see that you're going against Eldritch, literally negate anything. Go Mascarena. Into Zeroboros. Summon Gizmec, banish everything, attack for game next turn. So yeah. It's... It's fairly standard that, like, you'll see, like, better cards off your Chaotic Ruler and your charges. But, don't expect too much. Uh, make sure you're able to play with the hand no matter what. Uh, don't always go for the most extravagant things, because sometimes just being able to survive will win you the game. Uh, it's happened to me quite a lot, where I don't open the greatest, and I just have to, you know, hope for the best. Hope they don't have literally everything. Which they don't usually do. Don't forget that. They don't usually have literally everything. And yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure to check out my sponsors, Red Dragon. Uh, Going to be linked down below. If you need any sealed product, make sure to use the Moose YGO 10 for 10% off on any sealed product in the store online. Uh, super awesome store. Super awesome people there. Um, if you haven't already as well. Check out my Instagram. Check out my Twitch. Uh, my Twitch isn't like super live right now, but I plan on doing some stuff in the future. So make sure you're ahead of the curve. Get onto that. I hope you guys did enjoy. Thank you guys so much for the for the love. Uh, been seeing my subscribers going up slowly, and I am loving it. Thank you guys so much for enjoying the content. Uh, I'm gonna try. To keep updating this deck list if I can, and I'll keep you guys updated. Anyways, thank you so much, and peace.